the Solar Car team is a student organization, uh, not a part of any uh, design course at Rice. And basically, we get together, we design, build, and race solar vehicles. So the car is the RSC Apollo, and it is powered by solar power. We actually have uh, about 53 solar cells sitting on the back of the car, and that'll help charge a battery. So it's actually an electric vehicle, so it doesn't run on any gas or any, uh, any fossil fuels and it runs purely on electric transmission. It's actually a really light car designed to go really far based on just the solar power or whatever charge we uh, store in the battery beforehand. This car is made mostly of composite materials, so what I have here is carbon fiber. Um, it, has, it feels kind of like typical fabric, it's kind of soft and smooth. But anyways, how this works is you take um, a mold, so a female mold, so if you can imagine like a hot tub or something, uh, more or less an inside out version of a car and you lay this, you wet the fiber with resin, which is basically a, spe a special type of glue. You lay it into the mold, and then you sandwich it between this material called Nomex, like so. Usually you don't fold it, you cut different strips, but it's a basic idea. And um, you cure it under a vacuum bag. So you bag the whole thing and you pump it down to vacuum. And so that exerts uh, atmospheric pressure on the whole mold. And in this way, you're able to um, have this really like nice complex curves that you might see on like top of the line aerodynamic vehicles and things like that. So that was really um, fun and interesting, just trying to get that technique uh, perfected. Aside from that, um, it is an electric vehicle and we are required to design our motor controller. So we've been working hard uh, to get it out there and optimize it. You actually get to build a car, that's fun. Oh. Oh, oh. I really enjoy it because, well, A, you get a lot of um, interaction with people, friends, and you learn how to work in a team, you learn how to deal with problems, because let me tell you, problems arise a lot. It's not like, you know, in class, you just, you know, here's the answer, you're done. Things are always very dynamic whenever you're working on some giant type of project like this. Um, now, I think you learn a lot. You learn a lot about how hard engineering really is, like in the real world, you learn about how, you know, the, there's always going to be things you're going to have to you know, try and optimize, like it's never going to be perfect, you just got to make it do, like, have it work and be okay with it. That's perfect. It's so loud in here, oh my gosh. It's not destroying it as much as it's putting us through a crucible and making us stronger. At least that's how I like to think about it. Although we do spend hours pretty much every day and not a few all-nighters, I feel like it's worth it in the end. I've gained a ton of experience and knowledge over the past year. And in the end, we built a car. Not many people can say that.